for 2015 men's silver anniversary team. From Bethel College, the sharpshooter Dean Wyrick. From Bloomington High School at Weber State, Coach Dan Sparks. He's a member of the Milan Miracle. He played at Franklin College. Welcome, Roger Schroeder. From Springs Valley and Evansville College, Marv Pruitt. Our banquet club chairman, a previous recipient of our Hall of Fame silver medal, Dr. Phil Eskew. From WCSI Radio in Columbus, also a previous silver medal recipient, Sam Simmermaker. The president of the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame, hailing from Kokomo, Mr. Jim Colane. He's the senior vice president of corporate, community, and public relations for the Indiana Pacers. Noted newsman, Bill Benner. He's the recipient of our 2015 Indiana Pacers Silver Medal. He'll call a technical foul on anyone at the head table. Welcome Jimmy Dimitrov. <laughs> Pride of Reelsville High School, Indiana Central College, Coach Jerry Lewis. <laughs> He's a Rushville Lion. He played at Miami of Ohio. Welcome Rick Goins. From Gary Emerson to Texas Western, give a warm Hoosier welcome, Harry Flournoy. <laughs> the Pride of Edinburgh, he started Vanderbilt University, Bill Depp. <laughs> From Jennings County and the University of Louisville, Coach Danny Brown. He started Madison, he started Evansville College, Buster Riley. And please acknowledge, representing his late father John Bass, John Bass Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for our 2015 Silver Anniversary Team and inductees. team and enjoyed great success on his way to becoming Indiana's all-time winningest college coach. A 1963 graduate of Bloomington High School, he was a starting center and averaged a double-double for Vincennes University's 1965 NJCAA National Championship team. At Weber State University, he was the team MVP for the 1968 NCAA tournament team, leading to being drafted by the Cincinnati Royals and Miami Floridians. He also had pro experience with the Chicago Bulls. After a stint as an assistant coach at Vincennes and assistant coach and scout with the Kansas City Kings, from 1979 through 2005, he served as head coach of Vincennes University, where he and his teams set numerous records. Along the way, his teams made 14 trips to the Junior College National Tournament. He was named National Coach of the Year and led his team to the 1986 National Runner-Up Finish. By the end of his tenure at Vincennes, he had won 706 games at that time, making him Indiana's winningest college coach. Including seven seasons as head coach at Wabash Valley Junior College through 2013, in 33 seasons, his teams won 869 games, made 16 trips to the national tournament. He coached 24 All-Americans, four NBA first-round draft picks, and he had 15 players to play professional basketball. He's still involved in conducting basketball camps. You'll also find him teaching driver's education courses or scuba diving in exotic locations. He lives in Vincennes. Please welcome 2015 Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame inductee, Dan Sparks. Thank you, Chris. First, I want to say what an honor it is to be on the same platform with these fellow inductees and offer my congratulations to them. And second, I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame Selection Committee for this great honor. Basketball's been my life. Uh, I've had a passion to always play and coach and to be recognized 
have my name alongside such Indiana great coaches and players is overwhelming. As a little boy in Bloomington, playing on a dirt court in the backyard, uh, I never had a vision or a dream that I'd be on the Hall of Fame basketball in Indiana. There's no way that I can adequately thank all the people who have touched and been a part of my career. I really want to share this honor with my family, especially my wife, Debbie, who's went through a lot of wins and losses, my son, Scott, who played for me, and my parents who always supported me. There are three people I think that were really had a big influence on my life, and that was my father, Lowell Sparks, Dr. Isaac K. Beckett from Vincennes University, and Coach Dick Mata, retired NBA coach. I've had some very good coaches I played for, Coach Lexi Mills and Keith Rhodes at Bloomington High School, Alan Bradfield at Vincennes University, and Dick Mata at Weber State University. Many high school players and college players think they're going to play in the NBA, but very few live that dream. Teaching them to be team players and college graduates has been the biggest success. Many of my players went on to have careers in education and ministry, law enforcement, business and coaching. It's been an honor for me to coach these young men and later on my coaching career have their brothers and their sons play for me. I was blessed to have players who were willing to play hard and play as a team. I would like to thank them and share this honor with all the players. Some of them are here this evening. I appreciate them coming tonight. Managers, especially my assistant coaches, Coach Jason Holmes, Coach Mike Ray. I'd like to thank all the fans and friends who have supported me over my career at Vincennes and Wabash Valley. This has been an unbelievable day and evening and overwhelming for me to be recognized into the Basketball Hall of Fame. There's only one way it could have been better for me and that would have been if my parents could have been here this evening. My father passed away a few years ago. My mother was unable to make the travel to the banquet tonight. So I'd like to dedicate this to my father's name. And again, I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame Selection Committee for putting me in this position. This is something that I'll cherish the rest of my life. I've had a lot of honors over my career, but this one is at the top. So, as he said before, when you mention Indiana, basketball comes out of people's names. And I've traveled all over the United States and several countries, and uh, everybody thinks that we have the best players here. All Indiana kids can shoot, and uh, that seems to be the synopsis when you go around the country and meet different people and coaches. So it's a privilege for me to be here tonight. Again, I want to thank all the people that came up here to support me, especially my family and friends. Thank you.